So people have been asking me to check out the HEMAs for a while now. For those of you who don't know, HEMAs stands for Historical in Europe Martial Artists. The way people fucking talk about it, you'd think it was the next Kenjutsu. Of course, the majority of weapons involved in the art of HEMAs is inferior to that of the design of the katana. But as I'm sure you can already tell, I'm a pretty open-minded guy. So I decided to go straight to the source of HEMA. Now, a lot of people choose to go to the historical fencing manuals written by fencing masters. But, you know, I'm only halfway through one piece, so I really don't have time for all that shit. Fortunately, like how Eastern martial arts have been preserved in movies and anime, Western martial arts have been preserved in the TV show Game of Thrones. Now, I'd never even seen it before today, but a lot of people have told me about the Game of Thrones, including my super weird uncle. He is crazy into it, and he even writes his own fan fiction. Though he is having a lot of trouble keeping up with the TV show. I figured the best way to start my research would be to check on the internet for who the best sword fighter in Game of Thrones was. After all, I really don't want to waste my time watching this critically acclaimed show. Turns out, a lot of people think the best swordsman was this guy called Jaime Lannister. At least before he had his hand chopped off and replaced with the robotic one. Luckily, this guy who plays Lannister, Nicolaj Coster Waldau, has done some interviews about his sword fighting ability. What do you want to know? How I to mean, win? I want to know how to, yes, of course I want to know All right, how to win. well then try to hit me. No, I, uh, you know, you go like that, that's like you, you... Did you know anything about this before you took the role? Yes, I did. No, I, uh, you know... Go like that, that's like... I, uh, you know, you, you... Did you know anything... You know, you go like that... Did you know anything about this before you took the role? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You go like that, you know... So this is probably gonna be the best way to learn all about hemsies. I'm here with Nikolai Costa-Walder. Yeah. I'm gonna learn how to use this. <laughs> Finally, the chance to hear someone who is a true authority on swordsmanship and not just some guy from a TV show. Give me a clean death. A clean, yeah, well, I will. Give me you a, can with this. But you could actually. It's, a, okay. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite amazing actually. And it's heavy. Oh my god, he gets it. Just because you buy a sword off the internet for $36 doesn't mean that you can't use it to vanquish your foes. What you've got to look for is that it's heavy. If it's heavy, you can use it to chop people up. That is obvious. Any moves, like like particular moves that people that you learn, or is each fight different? It's different, but but there are some basics. That... All you get is people whinging in comment sections about who is right and what is best. And this guy gets it. He he's actually got some credentials. He's been in the game of the thrones. He has fought with real people. Okay? He has actually had sword fights. You can't compete with that kind of knowledge. Unless you're me, then you can compete with it. It's different, but, but there are some basics that you, okay. you know, you, you yeah. attack or you parry, you, you yeah. just defend. So far, so good. This guy is a real expert. He's absolutely right. Either you attack or you defend. It's amazing how he's broke down the complicated structure of sword fighting into that really simple concept. So that, what are you doing now? What is that? This is I'm getting ready to attack. Are <laughs> oh, you getting ready to attack? <laughs> you're a natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Don't give him too much of a hard time. Not everyone can be as much of a natural as you or I. But he'll learn. He'll get there. With a true professional like you teaching him, I'm sure he'll learn in no time. The only way he would learn quicker is if he was being taught by Brian Danner himself. Yeah. Okay. The only thing is, if you do it in front of you, you it's gonna. I'm gonna hit me. you like that. Yeah. Okay. So you have to move this out here. Exactly. Okay, so further out. Okay. And then. Come on, man! It's obvious. If you hold the sword out like that, you're gonna get hit with the plastic tube. This is in no way hemo specific. My sensei used to beat the crap out of me with a plastic tube, but I showed him. Oh yeah, that's right. He got what was coming to him. He got what was coming to him. That son of a bitch. A lot of the kids used to cry, but really I understood that it was just part of the process. I'd seen the movies. You need to take a little bit of a beating to learn to be a badass. How would you do if I went okay. for your leg? Like, like, what would you say like that? Yeah. What? No, you wouldn't do that. So then like you would... this? Yeah, but you do okay. it the other way around. Okay. 
Is that? <laughs> See this? I don't understand because he laughs at him like he made the mistake. But you do okay. the other way around. Is okay. This? Is that? <laughs> but I can't actually see what the mistake is. Did he mean for him to turn the sword around? Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like he did what he asked him to. But you do okay. the other way around. Is okay. This? Is that? <laughs> Follow me here. Okay. One. Yeah. Two. Okay. Three. Three. Yeah. It's just and four. Four. Okay. Five. Okay. Six. Six. I see. The Nicolaj system works on a series of six guards. Sure, it may look like he's making them up on the spot, but I'm going to assume that they're an actual part of HEMA. One, two, three. Shit, which one was four again? I can't remember six. Which one was six? The one. Oh, two. Wow. Yeah. Holy crap, he totally Mr. miyagi him. All he did was show him the six different guards, but now he knows how to defend himself in tons of different ways that he didn't even know was possible. Look how impressed he is with himself. Oh wow, well, that? that, okay. Just over here, okay. Like, like that. This is hard. My sensei, Mr. miyagi me too. He used to make me take off all my clothes and clean his apartment. I never learned exactly what that was for though. Before they took him off to prison. Well, actually, the thing about you know, moving the sword is, is the least of your worries. It's more about moving you know, the footwork and keeping the distance from, from the, the guy because you need that safety distance all the right. time. Anyways, that was highly informative. And I can certainly see why you guys love the Hemus so much, despite its clear inferiority to the arts of the katana. But I would say that the Jamie Lannisters is definitely a good spokesman for you guys. I, uh, you know. And I, for one, will certainly be adding his six guard techniques to my repertoire. If I can remember them. Damn, those Valyrian steel shorts. And those Valyrian steel shorts. Damn, those Valyrian steel swords sure do look cool. Damn, those Valyrian steel swords. Damn, those Valyrian steel swords do. <laughs> Damn, those Valyrian steel swords sure do look cool. I can't say it. I can't say it.